Gentile commissario. Thank you very much, Madam President. Commissioner, I think you were being quite optimistic trying to defend what cannot be defended because in the 12 years laying the groundwork for the World Cup in Qatar, European institutions have stayed silent in the face of 6,500 workers who died, according to the Guardian. And, of course, the rights of women, homosexuals and religious minorities were trampled on. Now, this silence has the ring of assent, even connivance. We're talking about 220 billion, uh, an exorbitant amount, uh, the same as one third of a recovery fund and 15 times what was spent for the Brazil World Cup in 2014 and probably to give legitimacy and to clean up the image of Qatar, the champion of refused rights in the world. Now, I hope that this discussion, well, I think this discussion makes no difference. Its aim is to get ourselves off the hook. This is the most scandalous case of sport washing, even defended by the FIFA president saying, yes, we've taken no of the human rights situation, but let's think of the World Cup now. Mr. Skinas, Commissioner Skinas, uh, even said that uh, the European sport model should be an inspiration for everyone, and he also said that after uh, defending the values and our European identity. Now, we have to look at what kind of relations we're going to have with Qatar in this country, especially when it comes to respecting human rights. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much.